What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy NextGen720, and I am back with another uh, video. Say yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he. And before I get started in today's video, I want to say thank you to you guys, each and every last one of you guys that click on my videos, leave a leave a comment. No, you know what's crazy? Before I wouldn't read the comments, like all of them, a few of them, but I read all my comments now. You know what I mean? Um, and whether it's bad, good, curse me, I don't know, I read them all. As long as you ain't saying that weird and racist, I can't give you your heart. But I read them, you know what I mean? Uh, some of you guys I reply to, but like I said, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up, you know what I mean? It helps the channel. And, uh, you know, ask me a question, talk to me. I'm in, I'm in my chat. And again, thank you to all you guys that have been rocking out with me, supporting this, how you say, this platform going forward. And it shows, you know, I got a lot of, say not, but I have some things that are coming up. Uh, that I can't wait to share with you guys, you know, what I mean also too, shout out to you guys that have been rocking out with the best damn podcast period Shout out to you guys You know, what I mean, um, you know, what's that? It's a show. I know I do a lot of shows, but there that's a show that I do on Sundays about 7 30 7 45 and it's more Streamlined, you know, it's more um, High Production value if that, you know, maybe say. But anyway, shout out to you guys, like I said interact give us some feedback you know what i mean uh and again like i said thank you now getting into today's video i had some good news also to the channel right so you guys have been rocking out and, and support me in my journey to become a pro streamer on twitch yeah i'm almost i got 25 days and um i set a little personal milestone for myself something small 10,000 bits whatever you know i'm gonna continue to stream like i said i've been on gears of war get my grind on the gears but anyway getting into today's video um what happened? Actually, let me share my screen with Share my screen. Let me share my screen with you here, right? Um, check this out. Ooh. PlayStation 5 could be joined by another new PlayStation console. Shock Sony rumors. Now, um, the PlayStation 5. Well, we had a leaked internal memo that came out from Sony uh, back in about two weeks ago. And it looked like they're looking to unveil... If rumors are true, or if this leak is true, they're looking to unveil the console um, in February of 2020. Like the same type of event or presentation that they had with the PlayStation 4 back in 2013 in February. They're looking to do the same thing with the PlayStation 5 and roll it out. And also on the heels of that, on the cuff of that rumor, they're going to be showing off The Last of Us 2 and Post be Ghost of Tsushima to showcase the PlayStation 5's power and you know, I guess comparing it from the PS4 or the Pro and, you know, 5, it's a huge leap. But anyway, but here's the thing. But uh, my question, or not what I'm saying, is that I fully expect for, especially at the start of the generation, Sony has sold, what, 100 million consoles plus or more, right? Um, so I look forward to there being a lot of cross-gen development. Uh, so just say, because I think kind of rumored then came out that, Ghost of Tsushima will be a PS5 and a PS4 a title. But I expect a, a lot of that uh, for the first three years. But my, here's, like I said, here's my question. If they released uh, The Last of Us 2 in, say, May, rumor has it May, right? And most likely they probably double dip it and remastered. Do I have to buy one game or would I have to be, quote unquote, buy the, the, the remastered version? Would, you know, would it allow me to buy one game and it automatically upscale? Or I would have to go out there and double dip because if I have, if they're going to re-release it, most likely remaster it again, it most likely will. Um, they double dip. Uh, I might just wait and get the PlayStation Five version to be, you know, what I mean, because you know I never really got into the Uncharted or the Last of Us multiplayer, you know what I mean. Uh, but if I can get a, you know, I might just wait and get the PlayStation Five version, you know, uh, because you know I'm just saying, you know what I mean. But anyway, uh, moving right along. Uh, let's talk about the, the new console. It says, um, it says the PS5 release date news is today led by rumors that Sony could have another new PlayStation console up their sleeve. This year, we got the first details on the PlayStation 5, which is widely rumored to be launched in 2020. Earlier this year, PlayStation architect Mark Sony confirmed the first details about the PlayStation 5, which will boast ray tracing graphics and 8K visuals. I'm going to stop right here. You ain't getting no 8K console for no $500. It ain't happening, Captain. I was born on today, Monday, but not this morning. I was born on Labor Day, but not this goddamn Labor Day. No, it ain't happening. Now, it may have a 
a 8K upscaler, right? And a chip, like, like, like you know, dynamic. No, I don't even think it's going to be dynamic anything. It ain't going to be no dynamic 4K. It may be a chip in there that lets you upscale it to uh, 4K. But you, hey, developers making games in 8K natively or dynamically, it ain't happening. You know what I mean? Uh, so the PS5, I'm sorry, it says the PS5 will also be backwards compatible. No, no brainer. Um, they're not moving away from their x86 architecture. Um, but that's not nothing new. You know, I mean, even when the PS3 first came out, it was compatible with the PS2. I got the original one, the old school one, right here, uh, down here. It, it, was, it was compatible with the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 1, but then they removed it later on. Uh, but the PS3, you know, with the cell processor, like, that was, like, so hard to develop. But that's not nothing new, like, as far as backwards compatibility. Like, you know, it is what it is. But, um, and also, too, I don't buy new consoles to play old games. I don't care. But, let's see, that's a me problem, right? It says, Sony has not revealed that when the PS5 will launch November 2020. Mark it down. Uh, will launch with only the things that the fans know for certain is that it won't have a release date before April 2020. Um... Xbox Scarlet, which is looked to set to be the PS5 big rival, is launching holiday 2020. Yes, I will be buying both consoles. So it's possible the PlayStation 5 will launch around then too. As fans wait just for more official news for on the PlayStation 5 is merged, Sony may be working on another PlayStation console. Mm. The patent filled today by Sony was for a cloud gaming system and it was filled on August 29th at the United States Patent Office. Now, the patent says systems and methods are provided for cloud gaming. Uh, each instance for example, look, look, look. to memory is used. I'm not listen, but anyway, I'm just forget about that. Listen, we had the slide that came out from Sony at the at their investors meeting, and I keep telling you guys this, right? And you know, as far as games as a services, and I know, you know, it's gonna be that's when you say you, you have to be honest, it's a business, you know, you don't have all these games by services or or. or you got now Google's getting anything with Stadia and Ubisoft have their Ubisoft class and EA has Origin, EA Access. Because they make money is a business. And now the new boss is at Sony. He's more of a software services type guy like the guy over at Microsoft in the Dallas. This is a fact, you know what I mean? So when the slides came out, they stayed looking ways to bolster their PlayStation Now service. The only way to bolster that is what? To add more software exclusives you know what i mean they don't really and again that's what the whole thing came with microsoft looking to work with sony or whatever came with that uh because they don't have the infrastructure really to handle all that traffic when playstation now first came out um that it will put you in a queue to play a game that you already paid for something like benton a very old game you know so imagine they put spider-man or god of war in their day and day it will literally make the fucking service collapse break it will break it you know what i mean it couldn't handle all that traffic that's why they're looking around for someone to a third party to that they can pay to handle the traffic on the networks whether it's azure with a team with microsoft or or amazon or google it doesn't matter these companies do business together all the time so you know i would keep trying to tell you guys that it's not the issue people frown about microsoft with day and date and that doesn't make a difference it doesn't because it's still people they're going to buy their box if the service is not for you it is what it is like right now i know again microsoft gets a lot of crap about game pass believe it the game pass ain't they bad they got a lot of stuff in there right now um and the game still will sell you know people you know like you know what's not going to Bro, listen, they will make more money that way. I, I, I did a th thing with Porter Rock one time on the show, and I was talking to somebody over there at EA. You know what I mean? Like, these, thing, these services make a shitload of money because you're constantly paying. It's like Netflix. Like, things about paying with the Netflix bills. But like I said, a, while, a lot of reason why Microsoft gets a lot of backlash because of the quality of their exclusives this generation have been horrible. You know, game, uh, what's it called? Uh, what do you call it? Sea of Thieves, State of the King 2. But Gears of War 5 comes out. Amazing game. I can't wait to play it. Yeah! Can't wait to get on my Gears grind. But other than that, like I said, you know, just going forward, it doesn't mean long as Sony still, which they will, still have a quality game. It doesn't matter. Now, this cloud service console that they're coming up with, they said they're looking to get people a PlayStation, according to the slide. I should have had the slides up here. Sorry for me not being professional. Looking to get people a PlayStation experience without the console now this little device will probably handle a lot of the latency uh maybe the the, the controller input because that's the big thing the controller input 
this, that, and the other. You probably download it. You know what I mean? This stuff that will cause the most. Like I said, the biggest thing with, with streaming is latency. And this private device probably be like a hundred dollars or something. And it will probably, like I said, handle the the front end part, just like the 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 have the OS or something and the the, the, the boot up screen and you know the controller input. So we'll cut down on the latency and probably makes it look like a hundred dollars. You know, to get more people to buy their games out in the world. Now me personally. It probably do like 1080p 60, you know, but you get to play a PlayStation 5 game. Me personally, this is not for me, you know, but my grandson, hey, you want to come play the PlayStation 5 or play the games? Here, take this little $100 stick. We'll put it in the room somewhere and play. Get out get out of my space. I, you know, it'd be ingenious and you still get to play the new games. Probably take off them. Like I said, it is what it is. I think for us mainstream gaming, uh, cloud gaming, you know, we're probably still a few years off. But whether we like it or not... Um, and the technology is only getting better. Like I said, if the, now you also, like I said, you have Google Studio, they're, they're throwing their hat in the ring. And I beta tested, you know, Project Google Stream. If that's just a indication on what's to come in the future, like I told you, well, for those who've been rocking out on my channels before a while, and you know what I'm talking about, for those of you guys that are new, like I said, I beta tested the, the Project Google Stream, and it scared the hell out of me. Why did it scare me? A, because it worked. B because it looked better than my five hundred dollar Xbox One X and my place my four hundred dollar PlayStation Four Pro. And far and this is before they had the GDC in March two thousand with I'm sorry two thousand nineteen GDC and we found out what the specs were. I didn't know it was ten T flop. Didn't see anything. And the minimum requirement was twenty five up, twenty five down. I have three hundred up, three hundred down. I don't have a data cap. You know what I mean? Like I said, this may not be uh, for everyone, but. For, like I don't have a data cap. I have I have Verizon files, doing it up, doing it down, and it works. And there was no input lag, and this is a fact. Now again, I think before cloud gaming becomes like you know um, mainstream, a few years off, and also too, I don't I like buying consoles. Like that's very exciting to me. You know, just going out buying a new hardware, unboxing it, and. Oh, getting wild. Like, I don't want that to go anywhere anytime soon. But we also got to realize this. Um, we're starting to hit a point, a wall, as far as, like, diminishing returns or what, how, like, really we're going to get right. And what costs these companies the most money is the R&D of making hardware. You got Trump with this shit with the terrorists and China. Like, this shit is crazy, right? This generation coming up is going to be, I hope it's not the last generation. I pray to God. I want to buy another console. I like, you know, I'm a slave to the system, but... You understand what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Uh, but I also am, like I said, being a real, a realist thing of what's the future may occur, like I said, you know. But we shall see. So they did file a patent for a cloud gaming system. Um, will they launch it alongside the PlayStation 5? Launch it after the PlayStation 5? We don't know. But we will see. But anyway, this is your boy, Next Gen 720. Let me know what you think down below. This is a good idea for Sony. All you all about it. Do you have a problem with an option? This is for you. Like I said, I'm going to be honest with you. I have grandkids, so I would buy one from him to play. You know what I mean? Um, and I ain't got to buy. Granddad, you know I'm cheap. Hey, I want the PlayStation 5. I got the play, the brother. I got the play. I got the Hachi Tachi for you, brother. Here, take this little thing. It's not the play. The brother, it's the PlayStation 5 right there, man. Put it into your side of your TV and control right there. That's all you need, big fella. It's like an Amazon Fire Stick. Look at that things took off, man. Like you know, this might be the new wave, man. But anyway, like I said before, this is your boy Next Gen Seven Twenty. Let me know what you think down below. I'm out of here.